What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, The Wired Motion. And today we are going to be stress testing and DDoSing some servers, different type of servers. Um, so we are going to be using different tools, actually two type of tools to do this. The first tool we're going to use is AutoCannon. Um, so this allows you to fire like for an example, 100 concurrent requests over a period of five, second, five seconds. And this is the URL. The P is a uh, pipelining number. So the number of pipeline requests you use. By default is one. Uh, I mean, I would assume this is saying like it's coming from like one machine or like you could simulate 10 machines kind of thing. I'm thinking that's what it's probably doing but it's fine. So we're going to be using AutoCannon. Uh, another tool we're going to be using is this DDoS stress uh, application. Uh, this is actually written by, um, it was written by this guy and it's pretty cool actually. Um, so this allows you to DDoS uh, any, any, any kind of website to be honest. Uh, but we're going to be detoxing our own things, which is cool. We won't get in trouble. This is saying I have two different machines kind of thing. And I want to make a thousand requests from each machine per second to this endpoint or to this website. This is all that it's doing. And uh, the way you run it is actually pretty straight. You just know server.js. So this will run the server itself and then you create a node. So this is the first node and this is the second node. So if I were to do that, uh, so that's what we're going to be using. Okay. Now our servers, we have a couple of servers. We have, <clears throat> we have an express server, uh, Node.js express. If you've, written Node.js and Express before. This is as simple of a server as it could get. This is an Express server. There's, there's nothing else. The only dependency it, have, it has is, is just Express. Um, so we have an Express server. We have a Fastify server. If you've never heard of Fastify, um, you have heard of it now. We have a Fastify server. Um, one dependency, just the framework itself. And then we have a RESTify server. One root just returns that. And then we have a vanilla node server. Um, it will just return that. Okay. So those are all node servers. And then we have a Python server, Flask. We have a, we have a Fl using a Flask framework. Now I don't write uh, I don't write Python, uh, but someone suggested like, hey, could you also check out Python? And we have a .NET Core server, and this is actually very fat. Uh, it's still fat. I, I, I had to remove some, some stuff, so awesome. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six different servers. Okay, so enough with the talking. And oh, also I have this. So here I'll be doing uh, an average of requests per second. Uh, and I'll be doing, if I'm DDoSing it, at how many requests would it die? So will it start dying and not uh, responding? So the first thing I'm going to start with is auto auto cannon. I'm just going to cannon everything and then see, see how that goes. Okay. So let's start our servers. <clears throat> and let's run the Pi. So I have all our servers running and if I check them out, so local host. So here I have, I have Express, I have Restify, I have Fastify, 
I have vanilla node and this is this this one is text Python um, is that from Python plus 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 come on come on come okay oh yeah okay so Python is just hello world and then I have dotnet core so it has a route called stress I made a route called stress um, and it's just it's just this controller stress so it's just you know, it's just that and it just returns this hello world okay so all our servers are good and running cool so let's start some cannoning all right so the way we're gonna do this is we are gonna fire two shots per server so one shot is just warming it up and we take the second shot as measurement so over a period of five seconds five seconds and then we take the average so this is the first one falsify server so five seconds okay that was a warm-up okay now we're gonna measure it Okay, so 67k requests in five seconds with an average of so that was an express server at here let's just say 13k the second one is this is restify so restify a warm-up and that did 94 for a warm-up now let's hit it for a measurement And that is a hundred and six thousand requests per second. Uh, that is twenty one, twenty one thousand requests, twenty one thousand requests per second. That's actually pretty impressive. Okay, now falsify to warm it up, warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. So that did a hundred and twenty seven requests in five seconds. Okay now let's hit it for a measure that's a hundred and forty two which is an average of and then we have vanilla node which is running at okay so test i mean warm up That baby has done 119 requests per second. Now for a measure. And 134, which is an average of 26, 26K uh, uh, per second. Okay, uh, let's try Python. So warm it up. Ooh, not good. Uh, okay, so that was a warm up. That was a two thousand requests in five seconds. Okay. So for a measurement. Uh, it's still 2,000, so that's an average of 371 requests per second. But this even has like errors. I mean, the, 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 as far as everything goes, it's, it's, not, it's not that great. Anyway, moving on to stress. So this is .NET Core. So here's a warm up. Hundred and sixty three. Impressive. Impressive. Okay. It's for a measurement. Awesome. So that's thirty two. That's thirty two K. 
And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the results for our Canon test. So flask way at the bottom, like way at the bottom, uh, being able to service 371 requests uh, per second and also dying in, in the process with some errors. .NET Core sitting at 32K requests per second. Faster f so uh, .NET Core takes this round, followed by Fastify, then Restify, oh, then Node, Vanilla Node, then Restify, then Express, then Flask. So a little bit disappointed with Express there, to be honest. Um, Okay, so the next phase is DDoSing. Round two is a DDoSing round, and we're starting from the bottom. Now we're here. Anyway, so we'll start with Python Flask. Uh, let's just make sure that this baby is running. Python up to Pi, 5,000. So 5,000, um, and there's, there's two nodes running. Okay, what am I saying? We are gonna start at 500 requests per second, okay? And there's two nodes here, so that's uh, like a 1,000, uh, if my basic math is correct. And basically, we'll just let it go for like 30 seconds, and we'll see if it doesn't die, we'll bump it up to 1,000, okay? 2,000, that would be, anyway, okay. Now for the top. Move this from the side and fire. Okay, it's going. Seems to be handling it pretty well. So far, so good. Um, so these are also the nodes <coughs> and the counting. Oh, okay. Things have started to break. Twenty-five, ninety-seven errors, sixty-eight errors. Okay, so stop. So Python has died. A few moments later. Now, of course, I had to speed this up or like skip to the step because it would have taken like a whole lot longer. Um because I was doing like, um, you know, from thousand, from thousand requests per second and then stepping it up, bumping it up until it, it, it got to a point where it could no longer respond. So it took quite a lot of uh, time. So these are the results, right? And I want you to focus on this section, right? So from like 5,000 requests per second, so 2,500 per node, and I was running uh, two nodes for all these requests. Now, maybe this would fail, this would start failing at like um, its 10th second, so its 10th loop, and this would start failing around 2015 kind of thing, and this would start failing towards the end. But in general, it's a, it's when these requests, it's around uh, 5,000 requests per second. But they don't fail at the same time. So this isn't saying the, the, it's exactly the same. It's not exactly the same. Um, okay, so that's, that's what happened right there. Uh, .NET Core is uh, pretty resilient. Uh, it started dying around uh, 5,000 requests per node. So that's 10,000 requests per second two nodes so this is pretty impressive and vanilla was pretty good as well but the thing is like no one like really builds api with vanilla node.js it's just people normally pick up a framework it makes work easier uh, i'm not entirely sure what happened here i uh I'm, uh, maybe i might have built like the server wrong if if you if you do write um a flask or python just do let me know uh yeah because this is this is i mean this is not great but you know it is what it is everyone has their preference but ideally you would want something that you know has like a very high performance because 
all these servers are just skeletons. You know, we still need to introduce like middleware. You know, there's something that I call, I mean, it's probably called that in general. Um, performance degrading middleware. Your server is going to have a lot of filters for authorization, you know, just uh, stripping a request apart and seeing if it has the right stuff and for security purposes as well before it gets service that request. Um, and this degrades this. So on a real uh, business application, you, you don't normally get this, this performance here because there's no middleware. It's just an endpoint that's exposed to everything and anything. Like again, I'm, I might have done this this wrong. Um, I'll see if I could put these servers on Git, or you could just make them yourself. They're pretty standard, actually, nothing fancy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, and do subscribe. Uh, you don't have to hit the notification thingy. Yeah, uh, if you get, if you are bound to see it, you are gonna see it. I'm not saying I believe in fate, but it will come to you. Okay, thank you, and. I am out.